It's time now for the Town Talker with Reverend Zechariah A. Jackson. Reverend Jackson is founding pastor of the Church of Wisconsin Now, located in Plainfield, New Jersey. And now, the Town Talker, Reverend Zechariah Jackson. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good coming to you. This is the Reverend Zachariah A. Jackson from the Church of What's Happening Now, Town Talker Talk Show. We have a lot to talk about, you know. Sometimes you have to go back in the archives and pull out some things, you know. Um, I was able to go back into my archives the other day and pull out the old Democratic Convention when Jesse Jackson uh, finally, uh, you know, arrived in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, just for him to, you know, he said some words that no matter whether you're a hawk or dove, uh, he said you're just a bird. And I think that that's the point of what Barack Obama is trying to get across with this health care. You know, so many millions of Americans that don't have any, any insurance and things. And, and, I, and I just want to... Tonight, if I can go to some, he has the tax clearly you know, with no some, advanced copies. But the idea is that what we're trying to do basically is that we're trying to, to draw a comparison between 1988 and the day, here goes Jesse Jackson talking now. Into America. They fought because it's not the cotton curd note. Segregation was snatched down. And she struck the first blow for freedom. And so in some sense, she is a, a moral challenge for all of us and a great source of spiritual uplift for all of us. And she is the mother of the modern day civil rights movement. Reverend Jackson, what are you trying to accomplish in your speech tonight? What is the message, most the political message you want to send out from this war? It is that we as a party must find common ground whenever the leadership is able to reconcile the, the extremes and really strong synthesis we win. Uh, John Kennedy managed to do that by putting together a, a deep south and, and northern coalition. Lyndon Johnson was able to reconcile hawks and doves because whether you a hawk god dove, finally you still a bird. It, it is my judgment that is, we have an, un, an unprecedented opportunity here to win if we in fact can strengthen uh, our base and can have a viable coalition that's inclusive and that's expansive. So it is a message, it is a message. So what we're, we're trying to compare to what Jesse Jackson was talking about in 1988 at the Democratic Convention, and to bring it up to date with what's going on today. I am having a studio, a uh, plane filler, I guess we can call you a plane filler. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Plane yes. filler, yes. Activist. Right. Yes. Yes. Activist yes. and uh, someone that's um, seat office as mayor here in Plainfield. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. And, uh, and things, and uh, that's planning to seek office again yes because we need you know when I look back at some of those tapes and, and, and back in the day and I uh, see the faces and see how the faces have changed over time you know over the years how they've aged oh, and this yes. that and other you look at a young Jesse Jackson uh, uh, Walter Mondale uh, you look at uh, 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 Tip O'Neill God be with his soul oh, yes. and you look at uh, uh, which was a former house speaker and you look at those things and you just look at how even you know this tape here is from CNN and you look at how CNN has grown over the time, oh, yeah. you know. So we, you know, we're trying to figure out how we can, uh, what part can we play? Because I, I think that one of the biggest problems with people today, they think that the part is too big. They don't think there's common people that's playing the part. And so that's why it's so good to look, to look at, go back and look at some of the archives, and you see common people that scratch their hair. You understand me? You'll just say, excuse me, i got to yeah, go to the restroom. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no superficial thing. And, and, and Rebecca, um, um, what do you think about this health care thing that, I mean, that, that the president is trying to get through? Well, the president, he is, he's trying to make sure that each and every one in America has a health care. We definitely need health care. This is the mother country. And it's a shame to know that this country does not provide health care for each and every child in this country. So he is on the right path. And it's the only president that is trying to make sure the United States people have health care, both for their families and visitors that come here. That something happened to them, they get better treatment than the resident, the citizen here. Yeah, but, but uh, Rebecca, let, uh, let me ask this right here. Now, uh, Jesse Jackson um, I made his point in 1988 uh, as we get out of his car and the reporters was there 
at the Democratic Convention in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. He uh, made it a point to say that, you know, um, how Lyndon Johnson bridged the, the gap between the hawk and the dove. Uh, and he said, after all, you know, a uh, hawk and dove, you, you're just a bird. bird. You, you understand what I mean? Right. You know, I guess every bird want to fly, you know. Mm -hmm. you know. I think it was R. Kelly that sang that song, uh, I Believe I Can Fly. Right. You know what I mean? So the idea is that what, we, what we're trying to get an understanding is that, you know, why is so much criticism coming towards the president that he's trying to get this, this uh, health care package ap uh, across? Well, the criticism is expected anyhow because, first of all, he's a black president. Okay. The one and only that we might ever see in the United States. That's one. Okay, everyone else that has been there has never thought about the minority. You okay. know? And he is, he is reading it just the way the law is, equal right and justice for all. But, well, Rebecca, the thing is this right here, is that, you know, when we see the, see the people that's crying for the health, that need the health care package, it's not just minorities. No. You know, minority is a small part of the United States. You can go to states where you might not even find a good many of us, you know. True. So, um, uh, what is, why the, the uh, Republican Party, the Republicans play a hate in them and such. And, you know, I've seen them show up in Adolf Hitler uniforms, you know, painting, they know painting Barack Obama, you know, posing with Barack Obama like Adolf Hitler, you know. Come on, man, what's going on? He's not after this date, man. So, what's going on? Um, well, you see, Barack Obama is a man of God, and he has made up in his mind before he even thought he was going to become president that whenever he does, he's going to make sure that this country is not in the shape that he took it in when he does leave office. So what, what is it that the common citizens can do to really help the president and help the country. Let's move. I think that if we move from this here, we can get the economy settled. Right. You know what I mean? There's so, so much issue being, so much uh, emphasis being put on this thing or not passing it or whatever they're trying to do that we are not getting the full gist of what uh, what's going on actually with the economy. Well, in order to get, um, to get the economy back on track, um, as I said, President Obama is a role model for each and every one. And all you have to do, school is the key to success in life. And if these young people realize one thing, you cannot reach anywhere in life without education. It doesn't happen. You're not going to get there. If he wasn't a man that believed in education, he would never have climbed this high. So we need to stay in one path and cut out a lot of the the nonsense that goes on in our community, live together and try to help one another. And that black on black crime got to go. Oh, well, we have our issues that we have to really uh, focus on things, and, and I, I imagine that we will focus on these, uh, just these things. Now, right here in the convention, uh, Jesse Jackson is in the, in, uh, introducing Rosa Parks. Yeah. express my deep love and appreciation for support my family has given me over these past months. We have endured pain, anxiety, threat, and fear. We have been strengthened and made secure by our faith in God, in America, and in you. Your love has protected us and made us strong. To my wife, Jackie, the foundation of our family, to our five children whom you met tonight, to my mother, Mrs. Helen Jackson, who is present tonight, and to our grandmother, Mrs. Matilda Burns, to my brother Chuck and his family, to my mother-in-law, Mrs. Gertrude Brown, who just last month, at age 61, graduated from Hampton Institute. And as you said, education is his, 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 uh, key. It's a key in everything. So we, we, we definitely want to stick with this here. We're going to come back to this again before we leave. Uh, it's just so important that the public know from whence we come. Right. You understand that uh, we, we seem to get uh, amnesia a great deal. Mm -hmm. 
You understand, I often say.